But first, we are following breaking news on that major land swap deal in Palm Beach County. Commissioners voting down the proposal after hours of debate today. The project would have brought a 1,000 unit high end development on preserved land in the Ag Reserve in exchange for land in the acreage. WPTV News Channel 5 reporter Joe Lopez was at tonight's meeting and joins us now live with reaction to that decision, Joel. That's right, honey. People who were here tonight in favor of that land swap, of course, very disappointed. As you can see, some of the signs that they brought tossed into trash. But let me tell you, there were hundreds of people here tonight on both sides of the debate, and some were even here for over 12 hours. Now, that proposal by GL Home proposed new development and workforce housing to the West Boca Raton area, as well as the water project. It also played a role in the Loxahatchee acreage area, where they say they were in need of major infrastructure rework, some of which say the land swab could have helped with. Commissioner Baxter, she said government is twice as, as expensive and it's twice as inefficient as a private company could do it. And so when you look at that, and you compare it to, you know, government, um, I really do believe this needs to be in private company hands at this point. Some commissioners opposed the land swap, arguing that it provided workforce housing and that even water projects shouldn't fall into the hands of a private company like GL Homes. People also voiced concerns over infrastructure and traffic in the area. And the biggest argument was maintaining the area as an agricultural preserve that was voted on back in 1999. If we did this today, that means that full 8,000 acres would be wiped away because the next developer would come, the next person would come, and then we would just blow up the Ag Reserve. So this was historic, but as you know, this was a controversial decision. It was 4-3, but I believe that's the right decision for Palm Beach County and the residents of Palm Beach County. I did speak with the president of GL Homes after that vote was taken, and he said he did not want to comment. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.